Hey devs, welcome back again to the channel. It's a tool and tip Tuesday here once again. In this week's episode, it's gonna be a bit of a follow-up to a previous video about app screenshots. So in that previous video, we looked at how to quickly take device screenshots using Android Studio. And in this one, we're gonna look at a couple additional tools to allow you to take those device screenshots, whether from a real device or an emulator, and how to dress those screenshots up to make them look a bit more polished so that you can pass them off to your designers or so that you can use them in your nice GitHub readmes or for whatever other uses you have for your application screenshots. And with that, let's jump back into Android Studio. Okay, so to start off, I just wanna say if you are needing an app screenshot for something very quick that's not going to be user facing, it's not gonna be in, in uh, GitHub repository as a readme image. It's not going to be shared as an app screenshot in, let's say, the Play Store or for any other really more refined uh, reason that needs polish, then don't overcomplicate this. And you could take an app screenshot using any type of, you know, system built in screenshot tool. So here I'm on a Mac and I could simply use Command Shift 4 and then just draw a box around whatever part of my screen it is that I want to screenshot. Now this is the easiest approach and it gives you, you know, a nice rough approximation of what, you know, your screen is going to look like. Whatever you select, that's what it'll have. Now it's a little bit maybe less accurate because you have to be really careful about what you draw, but oftentimes the simplest solution is the best. So whether you're on a Mac, Linux, Windows, I'm sure you have a screenshot tool that you're used to and I'd suggest simply using that in most cases. Now. Maybe you want this screenshot to look a little bit more polished. Maybe you want to put this in the readme page of a publicly facing project you want to have, maybe for like your portfolio or something you would link to on your resume. For that, we could use the approach that I discussed in a previous tools and tips video. So in this one, we could open up our Logcat tool window here. And we'll notice over here towards the bottom of that list, we have this record button and this screenshot button. So if I click this little camera icon here, it's going to take a screenshot of whatever is on my currently active device or emulator. So in this case, it gives me exactly what is within the window of my emulator. And now, like I mentioned again in the other video, we could also dress this up a bit by selecting frame screenshot, in which case it'll put a device frame around that. And we can use this dropdown to select different types of device frames. Now, sometimes these device frames that are, are a bit limited, as you see here, we only have generic phone and generic tablet. This can depend upon which emulator you actually have running. So one of the next tools we're gonna look at is a way kind of around this, irregardless of what options we have here. And then again, you could mention that you can add a drop shadow to your screenshot here or, you know, check this screen glare option. Again, just small little things to maybe make these look a bit more polished. So this is a great way to have a nicer looking screenshot without you having to do really anything in the way of design work. And this can go a long ways towards making, say, your GitHub readme look much more professional and polished. So now another option is the Android device art generator, which if we open up Google and do a search Android device art generator, we can come up here to this first listing in the results page and we're taken to this page. And you see basically the point of this is to quickly wrap app screenshots in device artwork with this device art generator. Basically it'll allow us to take a, you know, a screenshot of just the, the screen of our app or emulator, and then it'll add that device frame, kind of like we were doing previously uh, from within Android Studio. Now, there are some caveats to this, so it might not be the best option, but I wanted to cover it because it is at least another option that might be helpful. So the basic way to use this is to grab a screenshot. In this case, I have the screenshot uh, that I took previously using just the system uh, shortcut command. And in this case, you just drag this over and drop it onto a device that you wanna use. So you see, as I hover over, it kind of highlights each device. So in this case, let's say I wanna try and wrap this in a Pixel 2 XL uh, device frame. As soon as I do that, 
it'll kind of give me this warning here saying the the aspect ratio of this is incorrect. And so this is where this method can kind of break down because you do have to make sure that your original screenshot that you took matches the ratio of the devices that have available. So if we kind of expand this drop down, we see we have, you know, Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, and then some older phones. So you see this tool is a little bit out of date at the moment. But again, we can kind of walk through how we might go about this. So again, if we drop it over a Pixel 2 XL, we see that it needs to be 1440 by 2880. So one thing we could do is open up our image here, go to tools, adjust size, and we could manually adjust the size of this screenshot. 1440 by 2880. And we could manually resize this. And in this case, that made it quite a bit bigger. I can hit save. And now if I, again, drag this over, now I can scroll down and I can see a preview of what this is gonna look like. And once again, we can check mark things like shadow and screen glare. So you see, this is very much kind of a browser-based version of the tool we already have within Android Studio. And once you're kind of satisfied with uh, what this screenshot looks like in the tool, simply click on that uh, image within the browser and go ahead and click allow if prompted and it'll automatically download that screenshot for you, which you can then open and you'll see we have this nice looking screenshot with a device frame wrapped around it. So now this is you know, a viable option. However, because like in this case, we wanted to resize our image, it probably shouldn't be your first bet if you're trying to make a really nice looking screenshot for say the, the app store listing. And in fact, one small caveat here, you might've noticed before, you know, the, this tool actually explicitly mentions not uh, kind of wrapping uh, your screenshots in a device frame. And so, you know, you might take this, you know, as, as truth coming from Google and not want to do this. However, I wouldn't stress about it too much as a lot of popular apps out there are using device screenshots in the Play Store that do have a device frame. So that's something to keep in mind, but I wouldn't stress out about it uh, too much. So now the last resource I want to share with you is really a, a, just a set of device frames that we can use and possibly pass off to the designers on our team to let them take you know, an app screenshot with the Android Studio tool, combine it with a device frame and have a really nice polished professional looking you know, screenshot for the Play Store or for anything else. So again, if we come to Google, we're going to search for Android Facebook Design. And if we click on this first link here, where it says devices, you know, Facebook design, we're presented with this really great website from Facebook where they have essentially open sourced these device frames for a whole wide variety of different device types. So you see here we have things like, you know, Mac computers, iPads, iPhones, and sure enough, if we go to phone and we scroll down a ways, we start seeing Android devices. So you see here we have quite a few to choose from as well. Uh, and some of them are more current than what we maybe had available in other tools. So you see here we have up to, you know, the Google Pixel 4, the Pixel 4 XL. You know, we have phones from other manufacturers as well. You know, Nokia in here, Samsung. So you really have a lot of options to choose from. Now to go about actually using one of these, all you really have to do is click on one of the images here and it's going to download a zip file with those resources in it. So you see I've downloaded the resources for the Pixel 4 XL and if I open up that uh, directory we see we have frames that include device with shadow and so if I open this up I can see here I have an empty device frame for the Pixel 4 XL. And again here we have another version of it and you see we notice we have three options for different colors of the device. So we have clearly white, just black, and also orange. And here, if we want to have the device with no shadow, we have that version as well. And so we can pass these files off to our designers, or if we wanted to Photoshop them ourselves, we could totally do that. And we also have the sketch file available to us as well. 
So we could open these up in Sketch and play with them here as well. So we could, we could edit them, um, do whatever we want with them. So this is a great resource to be able to, you know, pass these extra resources off to our design team. Um, or again, if you want to have a nice set of screenshots for your portfolio, for a readme or something, and you want to get something really modern, this is a great place to look. It just takes a little bit more uh, work to kind of merge them all together in a nice looking way. But if you have kind of the design skills to do that, this could be a really good option for you. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, devs. If you enjoyed this video and you want to check out more of the channel, you can hit the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell to get notified of future videos on the channel. Until next time, devs.